Hello, this is Ronald from Beyond 20. Today we are going to look at creating a custom view in Windows to assist in monitoring and troubleshooting Sharewell. Sharewell has a very robust logging system that allows you to collect valuable information about the application and its services. This method is not intended to replace the built-in Sharewell logging system, but to enhance it. In this video, I'm using Windows Server 2012. However, the procedure is the same for all Windows operating systems since Windows 8 and beyond. Let's begin. To access the Event Viewer, click on your Start button and type Event Viewer. Click on the Event Viewer tile to launch the application. On the left side of the Event Viewer window is the Windows Logs section. Sharewell logs all events to the application log of this section. When you click on this section, it shows all the events for all applications. We're going to create a custom view to focus in just the Sharewell section. In the Event Viewer Actions, click on Create Custom View. We're going to be working on the Filter tab. You can tailor for events logged by a predefined range or a custom range. For this video, we're going to use the Anytime range, which is the default setting in Windows. You can choose which event you would like to, mo to monitor. Critical, warning, everything, error, or just information. We're going to choose all of them to get the most information that we can and we can filter later on. To get to the Sharewell events, you need to click on By Source. From here, we can see all sources that send information to the application log. Scroll down until you come to the Sharewell sources. And this will be all events sources that start with Sharewell. Select all of them then just click anywhere else on the dialog box to close the drop-down and you can see the first few that you've selected in the event sources. We're not going to choose anything else from this screen we're just going to save our custom view by clicking OK and then giving it a name. For the, this video we're going to call our Sharewell Event View. You may choose to give it a description if you like, which is always helpful for later on. Then click OK. We're waiting on Windows to bring up the Sharewell information. As you can see, it immediately filters all of the application events by anything that we've chosen from our event sources in the custom view creation section. It takes a while for it to go through and filter the events depending on the amount of events you have in your log and once it's done then you can scroll down to view and confirm that you've chosen just your Sharewell items. As you can see, all of the sources in this event custom, custom event view begin with Sharewell. From here, you can search to find specific events. For instance, if you just want to find events about automation, type in automation. and it will find the first event in your event 
list that has automation in the event. From here, if you wish to filter further, as I mentioned earlier, you can click on filter custom view and then you can choose to filter for just critical events, errors, warnings, and just informational events, etc. So that's pretty much it. To get back to the applications to view all your other events, just click on application and it will show you all your other event logs. The next time you start Event Viewer, to get to your custom view, just click on the custom view section in the Event Viewer, click on your custom view that you created earlier, and this will take you back to the shareable events view that we created. So that's pretty much it. Today I showed you how to create a custom view in Windows to assist in monitoring and troubleshooting Sharewell. I use Windows Server 2012 R2, however the procedure is the same for pretty much all Windows operating systems starting with Windows 8 and beyond. Thanks for watching. This is Ronald with Beyond 20. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for other tips. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at beyond20.com. Thank you.